everybody, it's Kaylani and welcome back to my book corner. Today we're going to be doing my July TBR and I have my bucket of fries here with my um, selections and I do want to say that I haven't added any books into this that I got last month. So at the end of this video I'm just going to go through a couple books that I'm hoping to still read on top of these books in July what month is it? Um, so we will go ahead and pull out, I think we'll go ahead and just do four of them like we were doing. Um, and then I'm, cause I really want to be able to get to quite a few of the books that are not in here. So there's that. Um, I surely didn't want to cut, cut up these little pieces of paper. So we will go ahead and grab our first book. The first one is All Adults Here, and this one is by Emma Straub. Let me grab it. So the first pick we have is All Adults Here. I don't know if it's focusing. Sorry if it didn't. Um, we have All Adults Here by Emma Straub. This is a family drama um, of a mother looking back on to her uh, raising of her children, I think. Um, so that will be our first pick for this month. <laughs> And our next pick, right here, what is it? Oh, Modern Lovers. I really can't tell if it's focusing at all. I'm sorry if it's not focusing. Um, is Modern Lovers, and this is actually also by Emma Straub. We have that right here. So we're going to get two Emma Straub books that look gorgeous together. How did that happen? Um... So we have All Adults Here and Modern Lovers. Modern Lovers is like about a group of adults and I think maybe some polyamorous relationships are going to happen in this. I can't remember exactly what the synopsis was, but there is that. Um, so that's two. We might, do, we might do six. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um... The next one we have is Aristotle and Dante, which I technically should have already read this year. So there is that one. Um, let me grab it. It's right here. I forgot what it looked like. So we have Aristotle and Dante, which is this beautiful green and black hardcover book. And this one is about two guys who I think are just discovering themselves. I think it's LGBTQIA, if not outright it definitely has the feel um but there is that one that we will be reading this month that's three so three more beach read is our next one and i actually wrote this one on last month i don't know if it's focusing again sorry if it's not um beach read is up there and it is about two people who are enemies it's like an enemies to lover romance it's about a girl who's discovered some things about her dad and then they have to like I don't know I honestly don't remember all I know is a second chance romance or not a second chance an enemies to lovers romance and I've only heard good things about it so high hopes for that one and the next one is clean getaway by Nick Stone I'm actually pretty excited about this one um, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Um, a Clean Getaway by Nick Stone. And this one is following a boy who is trying to get away from his dad because I think he made a decision that he shouldn't have. And it is middle grade, I do believe. And it has some illustrations. And it's a boy and his grandma traveling across the U.S. discovering um, places of segregation, I believe, or um, during the Freedom Rides, something to that effect. I'm really bad at synopsis. I apologize. But there is that one. How many books? One, two, three, four, five. So one more. And we have... Oh, I already read this one. It shouldn't even be in there. I already read it. So we're going to do another one. <laughs> we have the bright side of going dark. I only wrote the bright side on there. This is also one that I wrote on here because it was new last month. So the bright side of going dark by um, Kelly Harms. 
This is about a person who stops using the internet and then I think someone uses the internet for them. Like, someone catfishes. I'm pretty sure that's what this one is about. It is a stunning cover, isn't it? Look at it. Look at it. Um, so this is going to be another one we're reading this month. So here we have our six books. We have All Adults Here by Emma Straub, Modern Lovers by Emma Straub, um, Aristotle and Dante, um, Clean Getaway by Nick Stone, and The Bright Side of Going Dark by Kelly Harms. I don't think I've heard anything about the four book clubs that I participate in. Um, I know Kayla from Books and Lala is going through with the rest of the world some hard things and I know she hasn't posted anything this month so I don't think we know what the literally dead book club pick is and then everything else we are we get later in the month and I it is a little bit early to be filming this but I really wanted to find out what books I was reading so that I could kind of like get my month ready because I'm also going to be participating in two book or like two readathons this month I'm going to be participating in Becca's Bookopoly, um, which is a 24-hour readathon. This will be my first 24-hour readathon, so we will see what happens there. And then I'm also going to be participating in the Reading Rush, which is a week-long um, reading readathon, where you just, I think, read as much as you can. I'm not sure. It's my first year participating, and I feel like they don't have a ton of information on their, like, announcement video or on the website. So... Those are the two that I'm going to be participating in, um, and I will let you know what the other four are in the description below once they are announced. Um, so, on top of those, on top of everything else, maybe I'll be able to read these for some of the readathons I'm taking part of this month, but I also hope to read uh, Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar, which is about a trans boy who... Um, has some bullying going on, someone leaks his dead name, and it's about him discovering his self-worth, I think, a little bit. So there's that one. We have The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray, and I honestly don't remember what this one's about. I just think, I think it's about an app. Like a dating app? Yeah. A cynical dating app creator controls her love life with a few keywords. So there is that one that I hope to read this month. A Song of Wrath and Ruin. Um, by, I don't know who this one's by, y'all. Roseanne A. Brown. Um, and this one, I don't, I really don't know anything about this one. Um, but that is the one I'm hoping to read this month. We have Party of Two by Jasmine Guillory. Um, I just picked this up. And I'm also hoping to pick up Take a Hint, Danny Brown, which I also hope to read this month. So there is that. And then also, oops, You Say It First by Katie... Carigano, I think, maybe. That's got to be it. That's got to be how you pronounce that. Um, but it is a YA about two people who fall in love over the phone, I think. And those are the other books that I'm hoping to read this month on top of the six we picked and the other four. So it might be a rough month. I don't know. I'm I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done this month. I did so much reading in June that I'm just like on a roll and I just want to keep reading. So hopefully we are able to keep reading the way we did in June. I am feeling a lot more romancy right now, which I hear is kind of like a thing where like people, a lot of people read romance over the summer. So maybe that's what I'm about too. Oh, and we also have Beach Read. I forgot to mention that in my little collection of books. So um, that is all I have for you today. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time. Bye!